The following contest is the Women's War Games Match! The rules of the match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages, with one member of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The team with the advantage will be the first to have a member released into the match. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins! The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Now, let the War Games begin! EO Sky is here to show who's really in charge. A woman who has reached the top of WWE but still demands your respect. Introducing first, representing Damage Control from Tokyo, Japan, EO Sky! The genius of the sky is here to show her brilliance as she steps inside War Games once again. Before joining the main... The Poison Pixie is here. And from Riverside, California, the WWE Women's Champion, Candice LeRae. We know this superstar is always ready for anything, but no one has ever... This is War Games. First two competitors ready to go to battle in this true test of fortitude and will. Ready to go to battle, ready to take each other to the limit for their respective teams. We are about to witness some truly anything goes mayhem here in this one. Double the rigs, double the cage, and double the destruction. That's War Games for you, unless you've been there before. Few superstars truly know what's in store for them in a match like this. Big impact! Oh, man! Looks like Candace is locked in on their opponent. Looking for a submission face first into the cozy clutch. Well, this isn't gonna win. She is trying to break out of this. Ooh, an elbow does the job. Turned that one around. Reversal on top of reversal. Springboard misses the target. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Big down low. Oh, into a power bomb. EO has lost any control this match. She's showing why they call her Candice Wrestling. Oh! She propels her over to the other ring. Uh-oh, double springboard! Can you believe it? Whoa, what a hurricane Rana! One of the most unique matches any superstar will ever be a part of. How does that affect someone in there, Corey? Well, Cole, it's hard to say. You really have to keep your head on a swivel in there. Not only because of the other team, but your own teammates might become a hindrance inside the cage. I think you have to really look out for yourself first and your teammates second. Counting down the seconds until this match becomes a bit lopsided. The holding cage has been open and we're about to see a bit of a handicap match here, gentlemen.
And I don't like it, but in war games, a one-sided ball is all perfectly legal. Big forearm. Made her pay for her mistake. Drop kick finds the spot. LeRae creates an opportunity. Kick to the gut. Uh-oh. Look out. Spiked with a rose plant. Can Candace come back from that? Oh, she must have her pilot's license because she went flying into the other ring. A great amount of force sends her all the way to the other ring. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Candice LeRae into the... Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict... And she lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. She catches Bailey with a counter. DDT spiked. Ascending the War Games cage. No idea what her plan can be. Here we go. Compromised position here. Flinged across the way. <laughs> Uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. And set right into the corner. Oh, just turn that around. Ah, uh, shin breaker. Not done yet. Well, this will tear your knee apart. And she will climb the cage. Not the smartest of ideas. Time is ticking away. Shortly, we'll have a fresh competitor to even the odds. Byron, I love this move. This is one of my all-time favorites. The Wicked Stepsister. Can you believe it? Candice LeRae. Boom! With the stomp. Right on the patella. Uh-oh, I don't like this idea one bit. No good reason to be climbing here. Producing a trampoline. And here we go. Climbing up the cage. Only bad things happen from that decision. ring and she's stunned in the corner look at this fireman's carry position uh oh and the balance of power is about to shift with this upcoming entrant oh, eight knuckles upside your head i am stunned by what we've seen from these women so far 
These competitors are redefining, digging deep, and giving your all. Looks like they're bringing additional firepower with them into what is now essentially a handicap match. Round and round into the... Satellite DDT. A rough landing for her as she is stuck between the two rings. If you're on the opposite side of this entry, you are bracing for a fight. Battling on that strip of steel, maybe the most dangerous place in there right now. A uh, jumping stop to the gut. Oh! Oh! Candice Array is going all out. Any chance for Bailey's offense is being trampled. Evading offense. Shot lined up. Oh, straight forearm. Oh, kick right to the back of the line. Oh, rose plant. It is barely closing this out. Lift off. And back to Sky. Does that finish Stratton for good? Oh, 
Stratton, and it appears to be tippy time with a corkscrew Stratton ball. Does that finish Bailey off? Into the cage now, and the numbers advantage is locked in. And here comes a trash can for you. Uh-oh, I don't like this idea one bit. No good. Launching. The WWE Universe is showing their appreciation for the action they're seeing. It has been an absolute war out there. These superstars' efforts are not lost on this crowd. This is going to be nasty. Oh, break break. Something's about to go either fairly well or way up. Put it in the corner. for the irresistible. So it's that flip applied. Not done there. Feel it, guys. A couple of knees and then another one. Bailey could be thinking about the end. Rear Ripley setting up for a opponent. Here it comes. Tie. Ripley with an emphatic statement. And here we go. Climbing up the cage. Only bad things happen from that decision. She's either nuts or, well, really nuts to scale the cage. Oh, my God. Putting your body on the line. Leaping from high above the cage and turning their opponent into the landing zone. And that was a well-targeted attack. To the shin. Big impact. Things will get back to an even playing field with the next entry. And she will climb the cage. Not the smartest of ideas. Sorely needed reinforcements about to arrive. Let's see what kind of impact they have. If this were a tables match, that would be. No, 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 no. Devastating crash landing. Perched up top. Try it again. Head down to Sky. Sky can be looking to end this. Eel bursts to the top. The target's been acquired once more. The genius of the Sky with a moonsault. Each one keeps getting more devastating. Knee strike. She's been trying to put her away by targeting that area of all night, and she might have just accomplished that. I don't know. Silver's crucifix submission. How in the world tap out? German suplex. Now let's take a look back at these ladies in action. And that was a hell of an effort by this victorious team. I still cannot believe what we saw here tonight. A lot of back and forth in this match, but you can't deny that the best team won here tonight.
contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WWE United States Championship. A true rock star entrance. There is an electric feeling in this arena. Undeniable energy to his arrival. Setting the stage for what's to come next. We are taking in the totally unique style and attitude of Shinsuke Nakamura. A man who does what he wants, who lives his life his way. Doesn't hesitate to punish those who cross his path. Well, don't come between Shinsuke and his goals. Simple as that. This version of Shinsuke Nakamura has become more villainous and more nefarious. Well, Shinsuke has finally become the main event star we knew he would be. It's time to get out of the way. The fastest rising star is in the building. And we're about to see whose game it is. Yeah. LA Knight will hand out a beat down to anybody, any night of the week. It doesn't matter to him. Knight has got that unmistakable swagger, and he is creating a special moment in time within WWE, and I'm here for it. Introducing the challenger. From Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura! And his opponent, from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, the WWE. Forty-five years of history behind that, the United States Championship. This is all for the right to call yourself the United States Champion. To put yourself in the echelon of John Cena, Ricky Steamboat, Steve Austin, some of the greats of all time. Over 40 plus years of history for the United States Championship and a new chapter is written tonight. Two of these, you're gonna need your back adjusted after that one. Shit! 
Shinsuke Nakamura. Hits back against Nakamura. Boom, oh, what impact. Boom. He's able to fend off the attack. First one missed, second one didn't. Effective. Shinsuke Nakamura brings to the ring with him a wide arsenal of strikes, but one of them stands above the rest, the Kinshasa. Does Nakamura's legendary knee strike factor into tonight's match? Absolutely. It's the crown jewel of his arsenal. But that said, Shinsuke has a variety of additional punches, kicks, and strikes he can call upon to take control of this match. It's all about picking the right weapon for the situation, and he may not even look out through the air. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Delivered into the barricade. Boom! LA Knight's hopes are waiting. Nakamura is doing what he does best. Perusing his arsenal of brutal attacks and picking the one he thinks will inflict the most damage. Knight was ready for that. Taking this one back to the ring now. This is that one-of-a-kind energy of Shinsuke coursing through his veins. Pop-ups their opponent. And a reverse power slam. What a move. Oh, God. Oh, and that buys some time. Paying it back with their own counter. The champ not looking great right now. You really can't overstate the sheer force that Nakamura can hit you with. Second guessing about trying that move again. Oh, a stop to the belly welly. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. Oh, look at this. Fireman's carry takedown. He's turning the tables. Uh oh. Look at the suplex. No, no, no. Neck breaker. His core could hinder his offense. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. And it's the ref who takes a hit there. Things might be getting a little out of control. Able to reverse. He's taking this to the floor now. Broken up with a fist to the face. Fought off with an elbow. Maybe that will set him up. He moves just in time. Jumping clothesline. What agility. Oh, ho. Wow, that forearm. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. Put in a position now. 
Oh, right to the throat. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, what a kick! Finds the answer for Nakamura. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Nakamura style on display. Side slam. Nice. Nakamura hits the inverted power slam. Just think about the artistry of what we just witnessed from Nakamura. Nothing but fortune and glory lie ahead for a man of his talents. And he'll do anything to ensure that's the case. Shinsuke Nakamura is ready. Has his man measure. Kinshasa! We can have a new champion. Shoulders down. We have a brand new champion fulfilling their destiny. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. Here is your winner and the new WWE United States Champion, Shinsuke Nakamura! He won the title. He earned the gold. To go from challenger to champion. That has to feel good. Unless you're the one going from champion to nothing. A man who has nothing but disdain for his competition, Ludwig Kaiser. Kaiser surveying the battlefield for the conflict to come. The following contest is a triple threat match. And it is for the WWE. Introducing the challenger, representing Imperium from Hamburg, Germany, weighing in at 220 pounds, Ludwig Kaiser. Tonight, I predict a showcase of Ludwig Kaiser's skills. Oh my gosh, that was horribly bad, Corey. You better not let Kaiser hear you. Actually, Saxton, Kaiser has been complimentary of this impression. I think it's great, too. Thank you, Michael Cole. You are truly the commentary general. I can't take this anymore.
It's fight night! Behold the power of the Celtic Warrior. And introducing the challenger from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! Nearly 15 years into his WWE career, Sheamus still manages to deliver banger after banger. Okay. After banger. We got it. After banger. Would you stop? After banger. Oh my gosh. After banger. Quiet. After banger. Shut up. After banger. I love it. After banger. <sighs> After banger. A true blue chip talent, Braun Breaker. A powerhouse second generation superstar. And introducing the champion from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Braun Breaker! The toughness of his father, the brash nature of his uncle, Braun definitely got all the good genes. You don't need to be a math major to realize that tonight spells disaster for Braun Breaker's opposition. Or the entire WWE locker room. Lots of competitors in the back dream for a shot at this title. Defining moment in the careers of these superstars as championship gold is up for grabs in this triple threat match. Danger looming everywhere with Braun Breaker, Ludwig Kaiser, and Sheamus. You always have to keep your head on a swivel in a triple threat match, but when a title's on the line, you really need to be on your game. Champion's advantage flies right out the window here. That is absolutely right, Corey. In a match like this, the champion does not even need to be part of the deciding fall for the match to be over and a new champ to be crowned. Everything can come down to a matter of seconds. Turning the tables. Getting him into the corner. Ooh, DDT delivered. Boom, right to the midsection. And that stops whatever Kaiser intended. Vicious right forearm. And he goes into the ring. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Hooked up, and DDT for the title. Oh, the referee, the unfortunate victim of that hit. Yeah, that can't be good. Cross body. Just mounted with punches and not and a Oof. stop to the gut, too. There's certainly an element of danger inherent in a no disqualification match, isn't there, Corey? More than a lot of people realize. It's not just the superstar in the ring you have to worry about. You have to worry about everyone in the locker room that they're aligned with. The odds in this match can swing with or against you so fast. And Ludwig didn't find a defense for that attack. Unhinged offense from Breaker's arsenal. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. Big time power bomb. When the champ wants to prove a point, nothing does it like a power bomb. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Oh, clothesline. No way. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. And now that terrible error makes this a critical moment in the match. Clothesline. Shoulder tackle. Oh, my gosh. 
Draker is putting his opponent on notice. Devastating elbow. What's he open to find down there? And that one. Somersault plancha to the floor. Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. A brutal shot to the challenger. That can cause a tear, a dislocation, or a fracture. No. Good Lord. Taking flight. Tossed caution out the window, and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. Toss back into the ring. Ooh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. And he slides him back to the mat. Nice counter from Breaker. Look at that. Here's the pin. Title on the line. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. And now with the kendo stick in hand, he's ready to do some real damage. A bad place to be for the challenger. Hanging tough as this match progresses. No easy task in a triple threat match. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. If you're going to grab a kendo stick, you better be prepared to use it. Oh, uh, he knew what was coming. Shoulder tackle. And returning to the ring. Tough position to be caught in here. Ooh, a nasty shot to the throat. What a scary drop. Uh-oh. Cross the shoulders. Ludwig Kaiser with an air raid crash. Covered by the champ. Wait a second. Debatable decision there. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Braun Breaker, his strength on display. This is absolutely incredible. Look at the military press and turns it into a power slam. Another one bites the dust to the champ. He's back into the ring. Shane is toying with his opponent a little bit. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Big forearm. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Oh man, meeting the barricade. Was ready for that. Top rope, putting it all on the rock. Blast off. Larry, pump handle, pump handle coming. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Sheamus dodges that one. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. Answering back. Look at this, just unloading. Caught with a clothesline. Oh, check this out. Kaiser with the STO. Reverse style DDT. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. And the heaviest hitter in the arsenal was not enough. Back in the ring now. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Big shot there. Whoa, that was brutal. He was elusive there. What noise? What impact? The champ is down. Title change. I can feel it. Not a whole lot of luster behind that kick out. Dominating shoulder tackle. He 
Just tremendous raw power from Braun Breaker. Boom! Military press power slam. The champ will stay champ. The champion's shot is palpable. The champ will have to dig deeper now. We're about to learn a lot about this kid, Braun Breaker, guys. How will he respond to such a close near fall? We could be moments away from Sheamus' doom. German suplex! Those last hits rattled the champ. The kick! The title's in jeopardy here! I think the paradigm is shifted. New champ! A new era begins! Well, this is one matchup that lived up to its billing, and then some. And the championship with it. He wanted this title so badly. And he went... The following champion vs. champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship! It's Mr. Money in the Bank! Here comes the Austrian anomaly, Gunther. A man with one purpose, to prove the mat sacred. We are looking at the man who etched his name in the history books becoming the longest reigning intercontinental champion of all time. Once that bell rings, it really doesn't get more dominant than Gunther. No mercy is the name of the game. And Gunther began his career in WWE proclaiming that the ring is sacred and his accolades have proven just that. Everything Gunther does, how he competes, it's all about picking up a victory. Winning is the only outcome for the ring general. No, he wasn't oh. expecting. <laughs> they clearly weren't expecting this, and that's what makes it so sweet. There we go. Superstars finally enter the ring, and we are officially underway. <laughs> He's got him scouted. He foiled that attempt. Lansom. Nicely done. Oh, Gunther put a stop to that. Caught in a bad position here. The champion with Clint. The champion into the cover. 
and skirts out of the pen. Already having to expel so much unnecessary energy this early on. Power drop kick! And Damian Priest is the proverbial 5 tool player. Is there a specific skill set that should bring him the win tonight? Not really. Priest is so good, he can determine which strategy is best on the fly. All he needs to do is stay patient and determine which of his physical advantages is best when the time is right. And that was a well-executed attack. The challenger eating up some damage. Gunther beat the respect into him on that one. The vicious Gunther building up that energy. Things are not going to be pretty. Counters that. Saw it coming and got out of there. Drop kick. Oh, oh great height. something here. Are you kidding me? Priest is having problems here. Gunther's doing whatever he wants, because he can. And he's taking this to the outside now. Oh, fiery lariat. Driven into the barricade. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Setting it up. Boom! That's good to retain the title. Title match stays alive. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Oh, a knee! Right. Oh, gentlemen, what a surprise. Yeah, we're all surprised, including the superstar inside the ring. He can't believe it. Wards off that offense from Priest. Priest finally finding an answer to that onslaught. That could be the spark Damian was looking for. He turns it around. Gunther was the one that cringed there. Priest knows what he needs to end this. Oh, gets out of that by using Gunther with his opponent all the way up, delivering a power bomb. The champ has this one in hand now. Still in this, the title hangs in the balance. Just barely able to kick out. I thought the champ had it in the back. This is how much the championship means. You can see the sweat drip out of the challengers every pour. And Guther definitely thought that would put him down. I can't imagine he's going to take it easy on him after such a defiant kick out. These men have been giving each other such a beating. And you can see the toll of that beating taking effect with every movement. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Gunther finding an opening. Drop kick with precision. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. Ooh, man. It's always disorienting taking those hits above the shoulders. This building is rocking right now. Can you blame him? Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. And Priest is brought to a disadvantage now. We have Gunther with impressive offense. This one is headed outside, guys. 
Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Into the barricade. And he's able to fight Priest off. Oh, that chop. Powerless position to be in right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh. And Guther is showcasing his arsenal. This is where that calm of Priest will be tested. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. And Gunther is showboating right now. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Oh! Setting foot in the ring now. Look at Priest. I fear what he's thinking of right now. And the momentum's clearly against Priest now. And inch by inch, Gunther's chipping away at the competition. Oh, big punch. Ouch. Gunther able to steer clear. Champion with a quick shoulder up. Thought he had it. You gotta be kidding me. Gunther's out of it. Completely in peril. Kick to the stomach. Puts an end to that. Thunderous clothesline. Tagging this outside. This could be good. Uh oh, clearing off the announce table. Oh, this is about to go from bad to worse. This is not going to be pretty. I don't want to see this happen. The WWE Universe showing the love for these superstars who have given them so much tonight. Puts him on the table. What does he have in mind? We're about to find out. Oh, man. How do you survive? What the hell just happened? This is unbelievable destruction. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Gunther wants to finish this. Power bomb. But champions need to finish the job, too. What a win. Gunther is still your champion. And here's another look at what made that match so special. champion standing tall after this defense. This was a great title defense from the champion. Yeah, hats off to the champion. They could not
The following contest is the men's War Games match! The rules of the match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages, with one member of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The first member to enter will come from the advantage team. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins! The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Now, let the War We are about to see something good. Introducing first, representing the bloodline from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 279 pounds, Jacob Felt you. You can just see the confidence in his eyes. He knows that the numbers will be in their favor tonight, and he has faith in his team to be the victors in this war. It'd be totally understandable for him to be a little shaky right now, having to be the one to start off this War Games match, but he looks solid. But even with the advantage, this is still going to be a brutal War Games match. He and his team are going to be tested like never before. It all comes down to this. Do they have the strength? the ruthlessness to succeed at War Games. Main event, Jey Uso. Yeah, it's just him, Oos. And from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, main event, Jay Uso! Now is not the time to feel Oosie. It is time for War Games, and there is no one better to set it off than main event Jey Uso. I agree with you, Corey. Jey knows the perils of this combat. He knows what it takes to win and what it takes to be in that main event. Started off War Games for the Bloodline in his first War Games match. That night he went the distance and scored the pinfall that won the match for his family. Now, can Jey Uso repeat that main event performance tonight? The first two combatants are locked in, and War Games is underway. Definitely not an enviable position for anyone to be in. Yeah, Saxon, you've already gone through hell by the time the War Games officially starts. There's a certain amount of anger you have to have towards your opponent to pile drive them like that. Back drop suplex. Jumping clothesline! What agility! Counter! And now there's an opening. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. Oh, what a clothesline. Chop to the chest. Looks like the nerves have settled a bit. Now these teams can keep their eyes on the long game. Absolutely. This is where entrance order becomes incredibly important, especially during the stretches of a numbers disadvantage. He turns it around. Range down an elbow in retaliation. Right to the face. Oh. Yeah. oh. Face first. 
Main event, Jey Uso firing up. Ooh. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. Headbutt, oh, not done yet. A second, and a third, two, boom! Oh no, that's a lot of blood now coming from Jey Uso's head. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. And what a reversal from Jey Uso. Mm. Looking for a belly to back suplex. Countdown underway, the odds about to no longer be even. Pretty. And for the team on the wrong side of this entry, things have gotten that much more grueling. As if the numbers advantage wasn't enough, looking under the ring for a weapon now. The odd man in, and he's looking for an ace up his sleeve now. Searching under the ring now. This can't be good. And now having to deal with that weapon is like going up against two competitors at once. Oh, with authority! Through the ring door and adding a bit of leverage to the situation. Oh, man! Trapped between the two rings, still beneath your feet. Not a great place to be, gentlemen. A quick response to Jay's offense. Oh, costly error there. Oh! Able to reverse that one. Can be all over for Jay. Oh, oh, cracking the kendo stick across the head. He's stalking his opponent from the. Oh my God! Oh, look at that torture their opponent. Oh, this isn't gonna be good. Oh, oh. man! As rough a landing as there can be, thrown right. Top of the metal, specifically targeting the leg. He tosses him over and into the other ring. Looking for a belly to back suplex. Back suplex into the neck breaker. And seconds left before the odds are evened here. your way into the bedlam quickly. Your team needs you. Jay showing his instincts. Boom! Uh-oh. Their opponent is all but helpless right here. Man, knees. Just exerting dominance over their opponent. And now... Taken down with a chop block. Had it scouted. Whoa, stiff headbutt. He skirts around it. a stop to that. Absolutely spiked. DDT. Smashing their face into the mat. They're fading off the WWE fans now pinning the arm down and delivering nasty stops. Oh, what a wind up. Slam with some attitude. Kick to the abdomen. Jay gaining another wind with that attack. Jay's been an initiator throughout and remains one here. 
Placed into the corner. Caught by the Insiguri. We've already seen a few shots delivered up in that region. Boom! So precise with the super kick. Take off. Oh, misses the mark. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. It's about to be an uphill battle for one team once this clock hits zero. Wait a second. He's going up the wall. The extreme war games mentality is taking over. Unleashed from the cage and beelining it to give their team an edge in the match. Looks like the impending number. Spin. Jay nailed all of it. Climbing into the ring, pretty much entering a war zone. From out of nowhere! Okay! See ya! Thanks for coming! He's headed up. Might be going toward the top of this war game. Oh my god! He just created a prime opportunity. He's all the way up to the top, and this can only end so many ways. None of them great! From the top! Flying chair. Good night. Oh, strong impact. That's a four that'll floor you. Searching under the ring, thinking something there can give their team a boost. And Jimmy takes on even more damage. Yeah, Jimmy might be close to being shut down. Bang! Oh. He is leaving nothing to chance with these even teams. He's making sure to add any weapon at his disposal. Stomping! Ouch! Look at this. Incredible spot. The Tetley German suplex. Ooh Big forearm. What a sick thump from that table. Elbow puts an end to that. Anticipated that. Oh, uh, what a calming blow. This will turn your lights out in a hurry. Spare! Sammy isn't going to like what's about to come his way. Hold on here. What good reason does he have to be climbing up the cage from the top? But then to Sammy Zane, attempting high risk. 
just move after high. Jumping cutter. And just look at the damage to Zane's face after that shot. He knew that was coming. Look at that. Snap suplex. Oh, this. What a headbutt. Oh. Uh oh. Only seconds away from giving their team the numbers advantage. Being let loose to surely become the tide turner for their team. Searching under the ring now. This can't be good. Things are no longer about to be even in this one. Flying. <laughs> Diving hammer strike. Look at the amount of members on each team now. This truly has the potential to become one sided.
He took a hard landing into the other ring. Hard landing. Sokoa is focused on finishing this. And Jimmy Uso. So we can end this now. After a predictably hard-fought War Games match, here are our winners. This is what War Games is all about. There were points where I wasn't sure how this was going to end, but I knew this team was going to win all along.